What's up, everybody, and welcome. Um, today I'm working on elemental effects again. I got uh, this is something really cool, actually. Is the the reflections, the reflection components in the game can now be offset by a certain distance. So this lightning effect looks way cooler now. Uh, because this is um, this is the new lightning effect, and I drew some stuff this morning and played with the blur and everything like that and got it looking really good. Uh, but then I noticed the reflections weren't looking that good because they the the new lightning has this huge 60 pixel buffer in the bottom of it with all this other blur and stuff. So I had to have some code which offset a reflection component when it gets reflected into the water and all that. Um, it flips the sprite over and all, and then um, because there's that huge buffer with the, with the lightning, I needed to add that. So that's cool. But now I'm working on um, this one little final touch to lightning where um, when the second lightning bolt hits the ground, it can cause fires. So it works for these fire pillars. Um, so it works for the fire pillars. It can, that second bolt can just randomly start fires, which is so cool. It's like, yes. But I wanted to work with um, the bushes. The bushes and the trees. They're not working. There you go. There, one of these bolts lit a fire right there. That was neat. But see, that second bolt didn't do anything to these trees or bushes right here. I thought it could be that the entity or whatever already has invincibility, but I don't think it's that. I'm going to start with looking at um, the difference between a bush and an unlit pillar. It's got mask fire. Mask fire, that's it. Wow. But it's also got activate zero HP. And so does Bush. Oh my gosh, it could be this. It could be the bushes only have they might have too much health. Because they do have a recharge duration. Well, I hope it's this. tree. Let's do all these. Bush tiny as well. And tree. Sorry for the noise. My neighbor's doing something out there. <laughs> do a little construction. Yes, I love how it lights the fire pillars.
nothing. It doesn't appear that I did it, but I'm going to leave that, that little change anyways. It might be this. It might be the light. Let's look at the lighter. The lighter works, and I think the lighter uses AoE. It's category lighter, fire. Oh, it has an attack mask. Item neutral. Container switch. And it has a little bit of a duration. So AOE damage creates an auto entity, AOE. Oh, you know what? There, what does the AOE have for its attack mask? Item neutral container switch, same thing. Same damage, same duration. Oh my god, it's exactly like this. Alright. Category lighter, fire. It's like almost exactly the same thing. Yeah, what if it doesn't even have lightning? Should have worked. That should have worked. All of these things should have worked. Okay, what if we won't make it? This is like almost exactly what the lighter does. It has category lighter and fire. Okay, I need to just debug. I need to get into an actual debug situation where it's it's doing it and hitting a bush. So I need to guarantee it's going to hit a bush. 
Let's set this up as it was. This is filter, shot neutral, lightning and fire, collision damage max, collision no chain. All right, so let's do something predictable. Where, where are the bushes on the screen? There's definitely a few there in the top left. So let's set this. So it's a tenth of the area size, and then 90% uh, of the area size. So it's always in the top left. And now I need to set up um, I need to set up a breakpoint so let's see if the entity Is it bush? La 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 la. Okay, just making sure you can hear. There's nobody chatting. It's weird. Okay, if it's a bush and um, has bits changer dot. Collision dot category K okay, filter fire Hopefully that catches it. If it doesn't catch it, then it's gonna be like, oh, well then, well yeah. Good, okay, looks like we got it. So HP Delta starts at negative two. This is good. Oh, the entity, what's its health? It's got a hit point, one hit point. No invincible timer, good. This thing is all set up, ready to be killed. It's got a recharge duration though. That's okay, should still allow it to be hurt. All right. If you have fire and the changer has fire, it does. Good. If it has no chain, oh, that's why. Oh. It has no chain. Oh, God, I get it now, I get it. I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. Okay, so if I wanna do the second bolt with um, some like starting forest fires, only you can start forest fires, then I need to do two AOE damages. And that's okay because 
if an enemy does get hit twice, then it will already have its invincibility duration triggered by the first one. So we'll start with lightning, and then we'll do fire. Here goes nothing. Here goes something. Something from nothing. A little bit of nothing in something. Nothing turns into something eventually. Something always turns into nothing eventually. Okay, so it's like way, it's too far in the top. Oh, it's not working. What if we don't do lightning at all? Yes! So sweet. Oh, awesome. Okay. So the question is, should I have both of these? Yeah, I think I'll do both of these. So it was hurt by that lightning, but it just didn't spread the fire. Clock, what's up? Hey, how's it going, man? You just confirmed the chat is working. Good news, Clock. We got we can start forest fires now. Yeah, I'm good too. Yeah, very good. I'm really excited to have all these different elements doing things now. Weaknesses, resistances. Um, healing even. Yeah, I love seeing the lightning start fires. It's not, I know, it's so, uh, uh, the humanity. <laughs> I love it though, it's so cool. It's kind of weird because that kind of overlaps, right? Like lightning is kind of a fire thing, but it's only the second lightning bolt. The first lightning bolt is still just lightning. It's only the second lightning bolt which strikes the ground and other stuff and starts forest fires. Looks good? Nice. I'm glad it looks good. I spent this morning and a little bit of last night making it look better. All the bolts now have a lot of blur. 
Kind of like how a natural light bulb does. Check us in. Yay. Only you can start forest fires. Now let me see if it still works if I change these back to how they were. works. Yes, I love it. I love it. So I really didn't even change that much code either. Yeah, and that could be, whoops. I need that to be Point nine, that could be point eight. Cool. All right, next thing. Let's move on to the next thing. What's that? Oh yeah. Okay, so this is basically what I'm gonna do be doing today is enemies, weaknesses, resistances, and healing. You know what, I think I forgot to update my my title for today. This is 464, Elemental Effects, Part 2. Okay, so I'm going to go through every enemy and add in weaknesses, resistances, and healing. Rocket Buddy! What's up, guy? How you doing, guy? What you working on, Rocket Bunny? Let's start with bosses. The acid boss is going to be healed by... So we got flags resist. So it resists everything. No, no. We don't want to do resist anymore. We want to do individual resistance and all that. Alborz and Vel won! Alborz and Vel should not be winning. He's got like the most points of anybody. Congratulations, El Boris. You got 14,000 points. That's amazing. 
You're working on making every game object get updated in a way that's easier to do collision attack. Sweet. Nice, Rocket Bunny. So every one of the bosses is going to have like resistance. So let's see, the acid boss will have fire resistance, ice resistance, poison, heal. So if you hit the if you hit the acid boss with poison, it heals him. Nice, you figured out vectors? Nice. Right on. Lightning resist and well, yeah, lightning resist and fear resist. Okay, so basically the thing about the acid boss is he can heal if you hit him with poison. So I'm going to need to basically check every single... I'm going to have to play every single enemy in the whole game again. Which is fine. I just got... I think the, the way to do this today, since there's like, I don't know, how many f enemies are there? There's like maybe 40 or 50 enemies in the game. So um, I'm going to go through every single one of these, all of their data first, and apply all these resistances and stuff for healing, a weakness. He doesn't have any weaknesses. That's what's... I guess he should have some kind of weakness. Maybe not. Maybe not. This guy's actually, so far he's been really easy. He's been like one of the most easy bosses there is. So maybe he shouldn't have any weakness. Alright, so the blob boss. What's up, Cash It? If you know the Game Maker's Toolkit. The Boss Keys videos? Yeah. Yes, I do. Thank you for sharing those with me. I really got to check out. There's a few more of them I, I haven't watched yet. But uh, great videos. And every time I watch them, I'm inspired to do better dungeons for, for Songbringer. And the one thing I'm really the most inspired by is how they use... Um, the, the, the key item from that dungeon and the blocks from that dungeon that, uh, you know, that you have to have the key item to get past, you know, I can do that a lot better with Songbringer and everything's almost in place, right? There's a lot of, there's a lot of different gate items in Songbringer already, like the ice, like, um, the ghost sword, you know, all these things can open up certain blocks. I just have to use them better which means I just got to do some patterns and stuff that are better. And I have some time scheduled for every single one of the dungeons that I'm going to go back and make the dungeon better and the boss better. So thank you for reminding me. And uh, yeah, I got that totally planned out that uh, I'm going to improve all those dungeons. And especially especially from watching those videos. Yeah, he really uh, those videos have really, really helped. Let's make the, the blob boss. The blob boss is kind of like, he doesn't really have a certain element that he's associated with. But maybe poison, maybe he's weak to poison. Right? Because he's made of, like, blobbiness. Poison kind of seems to make sense here. That he's weak there. But nothing that he heals from. He's not Since he's not as associated with an element, he doesn't heal from anything. That makes sense. Let me get a drink real quick.
Weak to BC Warrior! Okay, the Blob Mini Boss. Blob Mini Boss? Oh, this guy, this guy, I haven't even used this guy in forever. He's not even in the game right now, so we'll just leave him the same as he was, as the other guy. Poison Wheat. The Drought Boss. What should he be res He should, let's say he's, he might just resist everything. Or maybe he's weak to fear. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, that would make sense. Just resisting everything. Fire resist, ice resist, poison, lightning, and fear. Because, yeah, you're not... It would kind of be interesting to throw a fear weakness here, but... You don't get fear until... The, wait, wait, wait. This guy's actually reused. So he's used once in the beginning. He's the easiest boss. But then there's two of him in the in the tower at the end of the game. So, maybe he should have some weakness. Maybe not. No, no, no. It's kind of cool that he actually is really, really strong at the very end. Yeah, okay, we'll keep him as resist. You said that as I typed it. Or I said that as you typed it. The elemental stuff might really screw you over if you get the wrong weapons. Yeah. Um, that's why you got to be smart, right? If you have... Um, if you have certain weapons, you need to not use them against certain things. Weak to bombs? We don't have that kind of weakness. Dang. I only have elemental weaknesses and resistances and stuff. Oh, I can't redesign everything right now. But I'll keep that in mind. The dropped mini boss. Let's say he has no resistances or anything. You fight him. This is the we're literally the, one of the easiest mini bosses of all. So we'll keep him the same. Eve is not even used in the game. Actually, I can just probably delete her. This isn't even a boss anymore. I'm just going to close that. The fear boss. Fear boss heals if you hit him with fear. All right. So once again, I do have to go through the whole game and play every single one of these enemies to check this. But at first, I'm just ripping through the whole list, kind of just putting in some some data, data first, and then and then. So the lightning, or the fear, or the fire boss. I already tried playing this guy with fire heal, and it actually works pretty well. And, uh, yeah, oh, and also, um, yeah, Cash, you're saying this, the elemental stuff might screw you over if you get the wrong weapons, but it's still, you can still kind of fight enemies anyways. Like, your sword, your sword always does damage without elements, right? So if you hit an enemy with your sword, um, the enemy will trigger their invincibility direct duration and then they won't get hit from like your ghost sword, for example, which has elements. So basically your sword will always work to fight enemies. As long as you hit the enemy with your, directly with your sword, you're going to be okay. So you can't, there's always a way to beat a boss. Boogie, what's up, man? You know what could work? Adding temporary resistance when the summon bomb mobs. So you have to kill the mobs to get elemental damage in. Ah, ah, that's cool. Yeah, right. This is this is really neat, um, dynamic territory here. Could go in so many different ways. This really opens up a lot of doors and a lot of a lot of trolling. You can troll the player. You can make it easier for the player. So the ice boss, obviously, ice boss heals when you hit it with. Ice. Oh, 
hold on, if I've been doing yeah, poison week, poison week. Why did this last one say poison? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I messed this one up. Fire. This is fire poison resist. Fire heal, ice resist, poison resist, lightning resist, fire resist. Right, right. Okay. So the ice boss heals if you hit it with ice. Should I make any weaknesses though? Oh yeah, like the fire boss, for example, could be weak to ice. And the ice boss should be weak, or the ice boss, yeah, should be weak to fire. In fact, I should do this for any kind of boss which has a heal. It should also have like a, a weakness. Yeah, there is. Well, no, there's not really a high probability you'll find some useful. Well, yes, yes, yes. There is, like I said, the, the sword will always be useful. No matter what, the sword can hit an enemy before elements kick in. So your sword is always going to be something that can, that can defeat an enemy. Um, it's things that have elements which might be useful, like might be extra useful or might be hurting your fight against the boss. <clears throat> you, th you think a programming collision code is some scary monster? It's not. It's easy. It's not too bad. Think of it as like a little kid trying to hit you with a pillow. So like maybe maybe the um the fear boss is weak to lightning. So he's got this little dichotomy here, this balance. He's got a heal and he's also got a weak. None of these other ones wait. The blob boss has no heal. Okay, the acid boss has poison heal, so he needs some kind of maybe he's weak to fire. Or weak to fear. I don't know. Not sure. Right? The analogy. It's psychological, man. It's all psychological. Lightning boss. Heals from lightning. Weak to... Ice, maybe? No, water, sh water is almost something that he would be weak to as well. Poison? Poison could work. Fire wouldn't really make that so much sense either. Okay, poison weak. Metatron, no resist. Everything is resist. Final boss, resist, 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 resist. Oh, I also want to make sure everybody has their flags on. Fire. See the ice. Oh, see the ice or the acid boss didn't even have ice. Blob boss. Yep. Yep. Yep.
fire resist poison weak lightning heal fire fear resist metatron Pulverizer boss is not actually a boss anymore. Maybe that'll be an extra boss somewhere. Extra boss, that'd be fun. In the Raw's mini boss, this guy also fire, ice, lightning, poison, appear. No resistances, no weaknesses, no nothing. Cool. Okay, we've gone through all the bosses. Let's start going through every single individual enemy. The Biag. Probably nothing. This is a really, really basic enemy. The other day a pizza hut opened near my house. American pizza is so sugary and sweet, isn't it? We make everything too sugary and sweet. And cheesy. We make really cheesy stuff, especially Pizza Hut. So they put tea, they put cheese like everywhere, inside the dough, inside the crust. They put cheese inside the cheese. They make like a little cheese sandwich, three kinds of cheese. Seven layer cheese, I think there's a seven cheese something somewhere. Yeah, nothing, nothing by ag. The blobs, same thing. Actually, maybe the blobs should be weak to something. Like poison. Everything's better with cheese. All kinds of cheese. All right, the blob boss small. Make it mirror, mirror the blob boss. Gigantic pancake covered in syrup, powdered sugar rolled up and then drizzled with more syrup. <laughs> Collect all the cheese! A cheese mint! So the fear boss had... Lightning weak? Let's do that for these seers as well. Seer has... Rather than straight out being weak to opposites, they can instead just take normal damage from miscellaneous things. What you mean, normal damage from miscellaneous things? I think it's a little too much of a trope to be weak to X and absorb Y. Hmm.
that would make it a lot easier to um, to think of things. Because, for example, the lightning boss, I just threw on a weakness flag because it had a heal flag. And it doesn't necessarily make sense. But I like, I like that the bosses, I kind of like that the bosses have a weakness. But that kind of will make your, like being weak to poison shouldn't ensure you heal from other elements. Right, yeah. Okay, I'll change this one. Lighting boss is one of the last bosses anyway, so... Giving them all resistance, basically, that makes sense. But the ice boss... I really feel like the ice boss should be weak to fire. And the same with the fire boss. The fire boss should be weak to ice. If they're not, as a player, I'd be like, what? You know, I just, I got the ice just so that I could, and I was expecting, it's almost like you would expect the fire boss to be weak to ice. If he's not, it kind of doesn't make sense. But here we go, here's one that's like, the yeah, the, the fear bosses can be healed from fear, but still resistant to lightning and everything else. It makes him more powerful anyways. That's a good idea. Blobs are all weak to poison, though. And the seer doesn't need any special weaknesses, then. Except maybe the seers also have um, fear heal. Cratchu. This is like the this is the little guy with the crab. He's a little crab and he has a he has like a rock on his back. I feel like he should be weak to lightning. Because he's a crab, he comes from the water. The ice dragons. They already have fire weak. That's good. And then they have no other resistances. This is the mini boss thing, so. Actually, they could have ice resistance because they're made of ice. So instead of healing from ice, they just have ice resistance. Actually, ice heal might be a good thing to put here. What's up, salad dogs? When was the last time you did some assembly programming? Uh, the early 2000s? All right, regular drops. Drop, they're furry. So maybe they could be weak to fire. They're kind of tough, so maybe they could have resistance to stuff. They're kind of scary looking, so maybe they could have fear resistance.
Yeah, let's do fear resistance. Yeah, different boss stages, playing around with the uh, resistances, totally. Yeah, that's really interesting. The droid bat, I can't really, well, could be weak to lightning because it's made of, uh, it's made of metal. Jitter, basically normal. Jitter fire though. This guy's made of fire. So he's definitely gonna have fire resist. Ice week too. Karsh. Karsh is in the water. Also seems like I could put lightning weakness here. Yeah, you barely interact with Karsh's anyway, so these are not that important. So let's do uh, lightning week. Eventually I gotta make these guys more apparent. You can't really tell that they're even there. Lightning boss easy, same as the lightning boss. The midge fear definitely has fear resist, if not fear heal. Yeah, fear heal, because they're super they're super based on fear. Uh no, I haven't done I haven't done poison to be accumulative yet. Um, but I did do lightning. I spent this morning redoing the lightning graphics and all that. But I think the accumulative damage could be really cool to apply to to multiple elements, you know. So it's kind of a a, a holistic thing, like fire, for example. If you keep getting hit with fire, you can increase the damage from it. Ice, same thing. If you keep getting hit with ice, it's like it, it lasts longer. A boss that turns into an elemental version of what it hurt him most in the first phase. That's interesting. It changed the fight completely. So the midge ice. Ice resist. Fire week. Intel. This guy's made of metal. So once again, it kind of makes sense to either be weak to lightning or definitely not poison. Oh, you know what? Organic enemies could be weak to poison, like the drops and the Droly. I don't want to make every enemy weak to lightning though. I'll keep the intels alone. The fant. This is a organic enemy, so we'll do poison. Polarizer, nothing. The Roz. They're almost made of lightning. So let's make them lightning heal.
This is gonna be really interesting. I don't know what's gonna happen playing a game like this. I guess one way to ensure that, that you don't even interact with enemies is to never craft any items. You just don't even have to get ice or lightning or anything. Oh, these brain guys. Sack. The regular spider sack. This thing's like made of spider web. Um, I'm going to make it weak to fire. But the fire sack. Fire resist. But not weak to ice. But the ice sack. Ice resist. The scorpion is a poison enemy. <clears throat> so we'll give him poison heal. Centicle is a regular organic enemy. We'll leave them alone. The shade is a fear enemy. But they can only be damaged by lightning or fire. Yeah, so there's really no need to put this. The synth. This guy's kind of like icy. So he could be fire weak. Or at least ice resist. Yeah, maybe he's not fire weak, but just ice resist. The fire synth. Snake Spear is not used in the game, but he does have resistance to everything. Little spiders! Spiders, nothing. The spider fires, though. <laughs> poison heals poisonous creatures? It's just like in real life. <laughs> they got fire resistance. Furlock Normal has I wonder if you should just have resistance to everything. But no, this is the first Verloc. The acid Verloc though. Definitely either resists poison. Right.
Where's the serum? There's no serum item yet. But you do heal pretty fast. And especially if you have the, the acid armor. So I guess I guess the acid armor is the serum. So the Verloc acid. Poison. Let's just do poison resist, because the the boss has the the healing and all that. We'll do that with for all these. Oh, the fear one, we got fire weak already. But nah, I'm gonna check that off. Let's go. Fear resist. Shivek, this guy can be totally normal. Doesn't really need any special elemental flags. Spawner you never even encounter. Zura, little burrowing guys. Same thing. Okay. Okay, we've applied it to everything. Every single enemy. Maybe weapons need some updates, though. No, I mean, I already did all this. Fire should have... Yeah, it has shot foe fire. Yeah, these are all... Ice trails, ice explosions, they already have ice. Everything's cool there. Isn't that what the cactus is for? Uh, that's kind of... It is. It kind of is. Alright, I'm going to start playing some of these. Let's go fight um, the acid boss now. He used to be really easy. Oh, this is going to be kind of... A little bit skewed because I have crazy powerful items right now, but I'll just play anyways the way this is. I should have only changed data so far in this check-in. Yeah. All right, we've got a lot of changes. Let's see how this is playing. I should give myself some kind of poison weapon, though. He's weak to fear, huh? That doesn't make sense. He can't even move, anyways. Alright, just poison heal. Okay. We got the acid top hat. on getting healed or not. Oh, he probably already has max health. It's 
really hard to tell if he's getting healed because he's so... Oh yeah, he did. Yeah, okay, he's getting healed from that, but barely. Yeah, it's a very slight thing. So that's another thing about healing. When an enemy gets healed from stuff, it's really not that... Not that strong of a heal. A smart player you know if you have like something crafted like I have crafted the poison top hat I know I'm gonna heal this this guy's based on on poison or acid or whatever so if you're smart you just don't use your top hat or if you have crafted the ghost sword to a poison sword then you just make sure and hit him only with the sword directly and not with the, the ghost sword projectile top hat for this guy. Unless you've crafted some other great top hat. Yay! Okay, he's still kind of easy. So it's kind of good to know, right? It didn't, it didn't really affect the boss fight that much with him being able to be healed from poison. So that's okay. Let's try the next boss. Maybe the fear boss. The top. You need the toppiest of top hats. Make sure your top hats toppied up. Toppy to the max. Easy here. You can't top the top hat. Top it up at your local convenience store. <laughs> uh. Oh, here's some of these guys. I got fear. Top hat. Does it heal these guys? Ay, ay, ay. They're fearing me. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Breaking news, top hat toppled. Yeah, that's what I was just mentioning. Yeah, it does not really slow you you down that much if if your sword if your ghost sword is a healing element. Because um the ghost sword itself, it, it only affects the ghost sword projectile. The ghost sword projectile is is a lot is half the damage of the sword. So as long as you're hitting the enemy with directly with the sword, it doesn't even affect the boss fight at all. If you're if you're hitting him with the ghost sword projectile though, it does affect, but it doesn't affect as much as you think. It's really not that. It's not that big of an effect. Thirty-seven. Four hundred 
442. See, that just barely healed him. 446. He only got four health from getting hit with my my uh, fear top hat. So I really should. It's not that bad. Like it affects it affects the fight a little, but not a lot. Make it so close. Oh, dead. Uh, dead boss has its eye on you. The, the British boss heals from the top hat. Uh, <laughs> Okay, you know what? I'm actually pretty confident that this is working just fine. I'm gonna check all this in, and I'm gonna save this for when I do a playthrough. Yeah, that's how the wall turned out. It's got a, it looks great, but it's got a lot more work to be done. It's not really that um, exciting of a boss fight if you know how it works. The first time you get in there, you're like, you're panicked. You're like, oh my god, what's going on? Ah, I'm gonna die. But um, in the second time you fight him, you're like, well, pretty much the only way to beat him is to just go as fast as I can, swing the sword. Well, if you get to that point where you understand that the way to beat him is to swing the sword as fast as you can, it just becomes a button mashing fest. And then, so anyways, that boss fight needs to be more interesting. But once again, I'm saving that for the time where I am, I'm going to dedicate an entire week to each dungeon. And I'm going to spend some quality time on each boss and the dungeon and the artwork and everything in the dungeon and adding more enemies and stuff like that. So uh, when I get to that quality time for the fear dungeon, I will definitely be making the fear boss there, that wall, a lot more exciting. So let's check this in. Let's try out Newtness's suggestion about doing a cumulative poison damage. All right, getting through my list of to do this week too. Next um, after I do this, I'll be placing the the acid armor, the fear armor, the lightning armor, the ice armor. So these will be in the game finally. You'll be able to collect the the playa dust, enlightenment, the circuit breaker, and sands locket. And then I'm gonna randomize the order of dungeons three through eight finally too. So. The ice dungeon won't always be four. The fear or the fire dungeon won't always be three. They'll be randomized in their order. And that means the fire boss will be a little stronger if he's like dungeon eight. Or he'll be weaker if he's dungeon three. So it'll be that'll also add a really interesting element to the worlds. Every world will kind of be unique in how it orders its dungeons. So that should really add a big a big randomness element to the game, which will require some some play testing that's for sure okay so let's go i want um poison something poisonous so that i can hurt enemies and do some accumulative damage in fact probably one of the best setups for this is to fight the very first boss so let's go fight the first boss and We'll do the the poison sword. Lightning top hat. All right. And then that's it. Yeah, uh, just starting this. And then I'll hit him with some poison, and I'll hit him again with some poison really fast, so it should accumulate. I need this on.
So right now what happens is if you get hit with poison twice in a row, it doesn't even extend it. So yeah, this definitely needs to be better. This could be so cool. Apply elements. I think it just calls poison. Yeah, it just calls poison. It validates the L HP delta unless you're activating. What? Oh. This is this should be conditional. It should be based on the enemy. And this should be after you do everything else, so it's not like capturing it here. No, oh, no, no, no. Okay, never mind. That was right. I already tested this all out. Yeah, let's keep that. Okay, I just mean to make it so it poison. It, can, it extends the poison and does more damage if you're... Po In fact, this is pretty easy to do a cumulative. I would just do that. I turn off this. If you're already poisoned, just allow it to keep poisoning you. And here, here's how we'll make it accumulative. If you already have poison flag, cumulative damage. If you already have poison flag and the HP delta is less than zero, that's an int, then we'll add some. There. So it increases the damage too. So over time. So that's, that is a cumulative. It's like a, what do they call it? Increasing returns? Compounded interest. It's compounded poison damage interest. Let's make sure this works. First of all, you should be able to hit the enemy, poison them, and then poison them again within the time that they're already poisoned. And it should keep doing damage, it should do even more damage. Hit him once. 83, 82. So he was doing one damage. I can only do two. 81, 80. I don't know why he only does two. Oh, and also. Unpoison can become Unpoison will become a uh, um basically a callback that can be that can be stopped or overwritten. So we'll go E dot render dot sprite E dot render dot sprite dot sprite 
Does it, did anybody see how long that took? They said Xcode 8 is faster. It's a bunch of BS. Schedule. Schedule this callback with an interval. Or just schedule schedule once. Yeah, this is the one I want. Okay, callback. It takes a float. Uh -huh. We capture Ead. We take a float that we're not going to use, and then we have a comma delay. The delay is duration, and then it also has a name. So the name is. Poison, it's unpoison. There we go. So when when this gets called twice in a row, oh, does he have poison resist? Is that why he's doing it? Only twice. Drop boss. Oh yeah, he, of course he has poison resist. He has everything resist. Let's take that off momentarily. I want to see him just do regular elemental damage. Look. Here, let's just take all these flags off. Okay, 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 okay. So now he should be able to get poison twice in a row and do an even longer time because it will cancel the other unpoison actually we should check that out i think you can go e render sprite dot unschedule let me give it the key So that's that's just a little more explicit. I think what would have, would have happened there is that I would schedule it once. That would have overwritten the other previously scheduled callback, but this just makes it pragmatic. Like I know for sure that it unscheduled that, schedule it again. So basically it, it makes it last longer, the effect and the clearing the bits of the poisoned and all that. And then each one of these will also have its own poison damage tick. So this should all work now. I don't know, where'd he go? He disappeared on me. Where'd you go, man? What the heck happened? Did his save of the boss is defeated? That was freaking weird. He just like he was there and then he was he's gone. Yay, Rocket Bunny! Oh, probably this. I put this semicolon in the wrong place. And then it got confused with all the rest of these attack or these components. Eighty-two, eighty, seventy-eight. All right, cool. Put him twice. What? What happened? It's like blowing too. Yeah, he did get help made multiple times. Nice, it's working. It's working almost too well. Look how fast he's dying. 
Kicked his ass really fast. <laughs> yeah, eight points. I'm gonna turn back on poison resistance because just because I think this is kind of cool. Cum but the cumulative damages. By adding a cap, I think I think it might be better to just actually not make the damages get increased, but just the the duration go longer, and that there be more more to it. Because I'm hitting him twice, but he's still got his poison damage scheduled from before, so he's still getting hit from before. And then you add on another one with more damage, it kind of doesn't. The cumulative damage part is kind of too much. I'm gonna comment that out. I think that's kind of the way to make a cap, right? Is like, you can only hit him so many times, but in the in the amount of time that he's got scheduled to be hit, to to be poisoned. So, yeah, I think this makes sense this way. The closer you get, the farther away it gets. Oh, salad dogs. How's the progress going, man? Where is it at now? See, now he's got his... Okay, now it's like he's got his resistance, so it's kind of hard to see. Floating everywhere. I think it might be because he's poisoned. See, this is a lot better. He's not he's not dying as fast as he did before when I had it uh, adding some damage the second time. I think this feels a lot better to play. It feels more like it should. So it is it is kind of an accumulative effect in, in that. It allows the enemy to be poisoned multiple times. And for those damages to kind of stack in the sense that it's still doing damage while it's doing some more damage. So I'm gonna leave it like this. This is pretty cool. Good suggestion, Mutinous. I like this where where there is still some there is an accumulative effect to this. In fact, the way it was before without this accumulative effect, it was really stupid. Because you would hit him with poison and then hit him again with poison, and the second time it wouldn't have done anything. So this is a lot better. Thank you for the suggestion. Very awesome. <clears throat> okay, so I'm gonna check in the drop boss. Or, I mean, not the drop boss, just this poison effect. All right, and with that, I do think I'm finished for the day for today's stream. I need to sit my ass down. I've been standing for too long. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you all have a great day. What day is it today? Is it Monday? Happy Monday, everybody. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.